Okay, YouTube family, there's breaking news on this show and the situation. Man, one of my moderators got me hip to a situation. They showed me the Storm Monroe show. I've been new to folks. Shout out to him. But he broke this whole case in a crazy situation. I want him to get credit for this. And y'all can go watch the full interview on his show. He has one of the witnesses. This is the Storm Moore show. Go subscribe to Storm Monroe show. My accent is messed up, so I don't pronounce names the correct way. My fault. But this guy just kind of almost broke this case y'all i'm not bsing no cap he has a woman named ashley on his show right and she breaks down the whole argument that was going down here well she's gonna tell us a lot about it and before i go play some of the snippet of it from the storm monroe show i want y'all to do me a favor and go hit the like button go hit the notification bell and come rock out with the i smoke hip-hop live platform now this is a reaction and we're gonna you know use the fair use but forget the fair use and all that i want y'all to respect storm more for breaking this you know what i mean to a certain way go subscribe to the storm monroe show right now now this is the audio from his show i'm gonna push play ashley hey storm um i just want to say something really quick and yes. i'm gonna try not to give out my pd first of all in order to be around jazz prince you have to be searched none of us had guns but jazz but jazz people I got to pause it and skip some of it out of respect for the content creator. Y'all understand me? Now, this witness Ashley is saying nobody had weapons on them, on Quavo and them side. Of course, I don't know how true that is. We're not going to substantiate it because I wasn't there. But the way confidence she's speaking, she's saying everybody on Mob Ties and them, Jay Prince and Jazz and them team are the ones who actually had it now i'm not saying none of that this is what folks in them over there are saying um but it, it's kind of crazy right so we're going to continue on with the receipt fifth ward around 9 30 10 last night so oh. this had nothing to do with no damn dice game with no money situation or anything like that and the only reason why i'm not going to great details because i live in houston and the prince family know me but all of this shit that they're saying about oh well now what she she's not giving too much because y'all heard her because she knows the prince family but she's basically saying that everybody that's blaming quavo for the incident is cap remember the witness who wrote say cheese and all of them remember what we said earlier about it we literally specifically said we'll report what he said and showed but we can't take nobody as truthful in this situation we don't know which cap he's with if he's with the other folks in them and he's trying to make quavo and them look like suspect and and being the perpetrator because no witnesses was there besides the regular witness at least no witness who's willing to be from their team to speak you know what i mean so this dude could have been enhancing it to make quave on them take the blame since everybody got ghosts when we seen jay prince jr walking out of there and everybody people are trying to say him i don't even think he had anything to do with it i just think entourage group of people heated situation and things went left i'm gonna let her talk a little bit more i've been skipping it once again y'all need to go subscribe to the storm monroe, uh, Mon monroe show and give this brother some love and subscribe to him right quick now we're gonna continue it who camp because takeoff and Quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the Damn. people who were arguing. Oh so shit. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it too because I'm not trying to take this brother's content like that. Now you hear what she's saying, Ashley. She's saying that, you know what I'm saying? The brother um who was involved you feel me it's not what you're thinking about the two family members quavo and takeoff the uncle and the, the nephew it had nothing to do with them there was actually the mediators which makes sense which what we kind of said earlier because they're the rap stars they're the names so it would be smart for them to intervene and calm down the situation why would they get it up now when people was telling us that quavo was shooting dice and he was looking mad all day remember what the first thing i said how can that make him make people feel uncomfortable like they're gonna get in a fight that don't even make sense everybody get mad when you're losing in a dice game you know what i mean everybody gets mad at a certain way when you lose in a certain amount what you supposed to be smiling but how can that contribute to multiple shots being fired to where an innocent bystander such as takeoff get hit 
in, 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 in the midst of it It's just a lot of things are missing And I told you if you let enough time surpass Enough information will come out Let's let Ashley continue yeah. And so Every with the shit y'all talking about bro Y'all was not there when this happened It, it, it had nothing to do with that So all Everybody's saying, well, he didn't act the way how he acts whenever um real that's going on. But I'm okay, I'm not gonna play the whole thing. To watch the whole interview, go to the Storm Monroe show and go look at his entire show that he did as well. Brothers doing good things out here. Much love to another content creator. Hope you understand what I'm doing. The news getting closure for family and friends, just like you are good brother. And look at this picture here, y'all. You can see where it shows take off and offset. And you can literally hear on the audio that we played that both dudes was kind of in a situation where they couldn't be the ringleaders of it. Am I making that up? I need y'all to listen to some of this right here. Hang on. I want y'all to look at the fight right here and you tell me what you see. I mean, help me out, man. Bless one can't be losing his mind out here, is he? Hold on, look, look. You can clearly hear somebody saying now they're not going to be trying to disrespect us like that. I'm going to continue the video going, but you can literally hear somebody saying in the background, nah, man, they're not going to be disrespecting us like that. I don't know which camp or who's being disrespected, but you hear somebody other that out. So you can see the head honcho Quavo is literally just speaking and being calm and chill. I don't see him getting out of his character. You don't see none of that. That's why I'm like, how did that make people just bust out the gas? Somebody was drinking and did a little too much on the mother folks and i don't know what happened all this is alleged by a witness named ashley who gave her peace to the show that we just listened to the storm monroe show you guys gotta understand man this get a little bit hectic now let's play some more of it I'm going to rewind it. I don't know if it's Quavo say, hey, let's go. But that didn't sound like no Houston accent. It sound like an Atlanta accent. You feel me? I don't know if it was Quavo take off or one of the entourage. But somebody say, man, let go. It looked like Quavo and them was trying to avoid trouble. Let's just be honest. It sounds like it. Quavo and them didn't want no trouble. This is something to do with something else, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, I just seen take off, move and run to the other side. Did you see it? I seen I seen the black pants with the white shirt. I'm telling you, a Pacific black pants. I know other people could have been wearing that, but take off had that. Look, watch this. Take off is gonna jump. It's like look, look at take off right here. He's gonna jump because it's like they seen the person with the gun, like as if the person was aiming it at them. Look at it. Let me rewind it again. Look at that now. Let me rewind this some. Look, look. Watch this. Quavo said, hey, let go. Now, that I, that I heard the voice exactly. Quavo said, let's go. So how did Quavo start the trouble? He said, let's go. Avoiding trouble. Now, look at takeoff jump. Like he seen Buddy with the gun or something. Look. Y'all seen that? Slow it down. Let's slow it down together here. Hold on, man. We're going to slow this down. I don't know if it'll allow. Okay, it's not going to allow me to slow it down. So while y'all playing this video, I want y'all to slow down the video. And tell me you don't see take off sneakers, the dreads, the same pants, black pants, and white shirt he had on. He jumps out the way as if he's seen somebody aiming at him or something. Look. Right there. See that? Look, and he runs. 
See that? We don't have to play the end because we don't show bodies over here like that at all. Especially not no blood, nothing. We're keeping this organic to the point it could even be for you know disney channel i'm just covering the news y'all and it's sad we gotta see it like that man once again salute to storm monroe show y'all go subscribe to the storm monroe show give some love to that good brother doing good things out here bro it's good to see people you know really taking this news serious hopefully this is the one that wake us all all up bro honestly man look i'm dj blessed one love your family love your kids and truly definitely stay blessed out here your game indeed truly for real